And we're live. Okay, everybody. Hey, is it, how's it going? Guinness Room. Special episode. Beginning now. Hello. 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 Beginning now. Beginning now. We are beginning now. Beginning now. Beginning now. Beginning now. Beginning now, we are going into a guy in his newsroom. Oh, the latest news for everyone. It's another day. Uh, welcome back. Uh, August, the end of August here. I don't know what voice I'm doing. It. <laughs> I've gone through like five already. What voice am I doing? Well, it looks like the Biden administration pointing fingers at New York for its handling of the migrant crisis. Because they don't want to help Biden. Guess what? You guys are going to never believe this. Biden administration has not helped another thing. Have you guys noticed that there's a pattern here? <laughs> You know, like not, you know, not trying to be biased one side or the other here. Just uh, a little hard to not notice that they don't really do anything. They don't help anyone. Uh, they're pointing their fingers at New York because um, uh, the governor and Mayor Eric Adams keep asking the White House for help. Um, they're begging for help. Remember when de Blasio was doing this? You guys remember all the like money issues they were having over the pandemic and de Blasio kept asking Trump for help over and over and he just kept calling him like different names and stuff. Well, now Eric Adams has been doing that to Biden and they're both Democrats, so it's a little more entertaining to me. Um, so apparently tens of thousands of migrants have been flooding the city. And I still live here, so that's good news, everybody. Uh, I mean, I am still here. I am wondering how much longer I will be here, but... Uh, I mean... There's just a lot of... Uh, Apparently, there's more of these migrants coming in, and they really are freaking out. Like, I think I've talked about that before, maybe. They really are not happy. Eric Adams is really freaking out about this. I did talk about this before. Uh, look, I was just off for a week. Um, off of work, anyway. I just feel a little out of it. I'm probably going to suck this episode again. <laughs> look. Maybe I shouldn't say that to start a podcast out. Maybe that would turn off a new listener. So I guess a federal assessment team was dispatched to the Big Apple four days earlier this month to view shelter sites. I don't understand why we have a duty to... Well, I guess because they're a sanctuary city and they said they'd take in immigrants because they knew back then... Well, they thought back then that they weren't going to ship migrants up to New York like because they're coming from Mexico and Texas. Remember everybody calling Trump racist about the migrant thing? And then, you know, I mean, he might have had a kind of a point. Like, there is a crisis, obviously. Now, I know he said, like, um, stuff like, they're not our best, they're not the best people coming through the border. Like, I don't. And the thing is, like, how do we know there are a lot of criminals that go through there illegally? I mean, that is just kind of, a, like, obvious. I mean, I don't remember back what he was saying. I don't remember exactly, but I'm sure it was overblown, like, everything. Um, it is kind of crazy how Trump is the guy that is basically making the whole system collapse. I mean, in my opinion, you can't go after a former president and 
book him in jail on, you know, vague, from what I understand, charges. Now, I didn't read any of the charges, but it just seems like they keep trying to do stuff and they're going to, I guess, keep doing it until the end of time or something. They're just going to keep wasting everybody's time. Like, normally somebody's president and then if they lose the next election you don't really have to hear about them all the time well in this case it was trump <clears throat> and they can't let him live i guess i'm not saying well who knows <laughs> i know tucker carlson kind of asked uh anyway so i guess they're asking Biden for this help crisis here this originated with the federal government and it must be resolved through the federal government now this is funny um, you know, I've been not really looking at, uh, I'm not an ex. I'm not even close to an expert on this stuff. It just is obvious that, uh, this is not a sustainable thing that's happening. Sending migrants to cities, just go, just sending them there, you know? And you can say, I'm sure they, you know, that's one thing they say, oh, it's a political stunt by the Republicans. Well, I mean, look, if we, like, because if Mexico was right next to New York, they'd be coming here. I mean, there's no question about it. They just happen to be getting shipped here now. So it's not as many. Imagine if it was right next to Mexico. We'd be flooded. I mean, it would have been, you know, Texas. Um, So, like, this is just like hypocritical again. Like, <laughs> obviously, like I said, it's not sustainable. And now the fact that Democrats are having to come out and say this isn't sustainable, like, and this isn't working, uh, you know, it's just like hypocrisy. It's just like, I have not, like, I live here and, you know, I mean, I don't know, not, you know, knock on wood, I haven't really experienced the migrants yet. I think I saw them once the other week. I was walking around, and I'm pretty sure, now I don't, like, like I'm pretty sure that was them, although it was, like, on this one street, and it, it they had luggage, so, like, I'm like, did they get dropped off, or are they waiting, waiting on a bus? I mean, you can take buses from New York to uh, D.C. and different places, but I don't, so I'm not sure, but I, that probably was migrants, maybe. Uh, they didn't look like regular tourists. It looked like, I don't know. But yeah, like I'm not, I, I saw Staten Island now has a bunch of migrants being sent there. Long Island they're talking about, or they are doing, like I can't even keep up with it. And, uh, now these politicians, you know, now <laughs> the governor of New York who would normally would have put out a bunch of virtue signaling, you know, tweets and whatever about, we, uh, you know, America has always been about diversity and immigrants and New York is a melting pot and all this stuff. Like they always have equated it with b people being anti-immigration period. And it's really just, this is illegal immigration. These are people that are undocumented. And now the governor wants Biden to just make them citizens right away because I don't know. Um, to, so they seem caring. So they could get jobs, I guess, would be a reason. I don't know. Um, the borders and decisions about who can work are solely determined by the federal government. And since July of 2022, in our first meeting with the president, Mayor Adams and I have championed the idea of a federal designation that would allow the individuals hmm. already here in New York the ability to work. To support themselves and their families. They just got here, but the mayor and I well, said that I guess in countless I'm meetings with Congress, the White House. Look, I, I, look. If you if you have a meeting with Biden, at this point, I wouldn't assume he's heard anything you said. Like, <laughs> I would hope that his people are around taking notes because I, I like I don't have confidence that like uh, he'd be sound of of sound mind to understand what I'm saying. Um. Like, you would have to have the, his people, which I guess would be his wife, who's always around next to him, push, pushing him around almost, like, almost literally pushing him <laughs> in directions to go. Like, 
Joe, go, go over there. And they push him and they direct him. You know, you always see like agents behind him, like just telling him, no, go over there or whatever. I mean, there's going to be, they already had that, I guess that Mitch McConnell moment where he froze. <laughs> um, I, I haven't even watched that yet. You know, it's annoying looking up videos now, like, I bet you, well, first of all, it's just hard. It's harder to search stuff now because it's all algorithm driven. But also people do like their own stupid reaction video. They they put text over it. They make a remix version of the original video. It's like, just give me the original first, you know. That's my That's my rant. We'll turn out of that frightening moment in Washington today. And of course they're saying frightening because this is a Republican guy. So that's why they're going, oh. <laughs> oh should we, this is a little concerning. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, we might have to have this checked out a little bit. This is, uh, you know, just, uh, yeah, it's a little concerning. The Republicans, I mean, term limits please can we please have term limits republicans nazis the right just doesn't know when to let, tell their politician to step down and then they ignore the diane diane feinstein thing i mean at least they're kind of like i've seen stuff about her being too old and people still get defensive of biden he's he's clearly a muttering fool i mean <laughs> He doesn't. He hasn't froze like this yet. So let's take a let's. Hey, audience out there, let's take a look let's at take this. A look let's at take this. a look let's at this. Let's take a look at this. I know the audio can't hear. Got freeze, but I haven't seen it yet. So alarmed his colleagues and many mm. watching when he froze during. Biden never alarms anyone. He's good because he's on the side that I'm the speak. Uh, this reporter, okay, Lester Holt. Derek Haig now with more on this from Capitol Hill. Oh, concerning. A Looks like he had a... Will interrupt a I wonder if he ha actually had a stroke and that's what happened. And he just, <laughs> he like grimaced and pretended he's not. Like he tried to pretend he's not <laughs> having a stroke and he just stood there like... Uh, 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 stroke. 19 seconds of silence. Quickly turning to concern for the... Oh my God. ...leader Mitch McConnell who appeared to freeze up as he began his weekly news conference. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we're on a path to finishing the NDA uh, uh, this week. It's been good bipartisan cooperation. Oh, my God, he can barely open his mouth. And a string of... His fellow senators, oh my God, Barrasso, a medical doctor damn it! See what I mean? They edited it. Eventually, helping the 81-year-old McConnell away from the podium. Returning moments later, the Senate's top Republican shrugged off a reporter's question about the moment. I'm fine. McConnell, who in January became the longest-serving party leader in Senate history. Uh, yeah, I mean. There's a problem on politicians like we have no clue about their health record, you know, like, and I know that's private with the HIPAA stuff. Well, until the pandemic, then everybody, HIPAA wasn't a thing. It literally wasn't like, oh, we threw we're throwing out privacy now because the pandemic, wear a mask. But this guy clearly, like, it looks like he's. I mean, this looks like he's he just had a stroke. I mean, I don't know that, like, he was having a stroke then, but just the way he was talking and moving there, it looks like he, he's paralyzed a little bit. Um, I wonder if there's any comments about... He could barely open his mouth. Oh, see what... Okay, so I might have been right. Look at this. Last year, this happened to me. Hearing words coming in my out of my mouth that I, my mind said I didn't say. Never got dizzy or lost consciousness, but the episode lasted about three minutes. My doctor called it a micro stroke after running an AKG, and said this is fairly common in seniors. I was seventy nine then. <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, so this is an 80-year-old commenting. Wait a minute, this was a month ago? Wow. I didn't know it was that old. Okay, so I think I was right. It looked like he had a stroke. It looked like he froze up and was paralyzed a little bit, so... I don't think I'm going to be able to find the full unedited clip. I mean, if you guys don't like, you know, the whole, like, two-party thing, I mean, like, isn't he and Bi... Aren't they, like, buddies? Like, everybody acts like this is, like, a... Oh, I'm on the right side and the other side's bad, and they don't get, you know... I mean... We're on a path to finishing the NDA uh, this week. It's been good bipartisan cooperation and a string of. Uh, uh, He's like slowing down there. It looks like he's about to pass out. So I, oh, those are weird. Uh, sir, uh, you can move. Do you want to say anything else to the press? Got a poo poo? Got to go to the bathroom? Got <laughs> like it's a little baby. He just walked. Oh, I guess he walked off and then came back or something. I mean, people acted like it was shocking, and now I'm like. <clears throat> It's actually not. He's 80, so. Uh, you know, this is like, we're, you know, we're at the point where, like, I mean, it's really hard for them to cover up this stuff now. I mean, it always gets out with the Internet. Like, <clears throat> I mean, but, yeah, his voice, it's, he seemed to slow down there for a second before he froze. Like, it was just like <laughs> something's going to happen. It's like one side. See how he's talking about one side of his mouth, too? I don't know if he always does that, but. String of. String of. And then he, like, shuts down. A string of. I know. I know. I know. Five bars. Five bars. I don't know how to do a shutting down a fact, but that's the closest I can do, guys. Uh, and you really need your support if you could send your donations for a higher quality production here. Uh, just spread the word about the podcast first, and then that'll get the ground running. We've got a lot of boots on the ground there. Get a lot of boots on the ground. I'm fine. You want to say? Or should we just go back to it? Got something to say? Got baby? Got to go pee pee. <laughs> baby, got to go. Baby, got to go. Do you want to say anything else to the press? Oh, we don't miss. You got a got a little something in your diaper there. Let's go back. To All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Could you address what happened here at the start of the press conference? And was it related to your injury from earlier this year where you suffered a concussion? Is that no? I'm I'm fine. I'm fine. You're fine. You're fully able to yeah. do your job. Yeah. Bra. Bra. He's like. He's ribbiting. <laughs> he turned to a frog there. I mean, he looks like a frog. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we're on a path to finishing well, the NDA uh, this week. It's been this good week, uh, go go well, portion, yeah. and a string of. Uh, a string of uh, <laughs> <laughs> It looks like he's seriously, like, fighting whatever it is, his micro stroke there. How many of these do you think Fetterman has per hour? 
It's like that old Chicago Bears SNL skit when they <laughs> they just eat so much bad food that they're like having heart attacks every minute. And he's like, oh, got a mini heart attack coming. <laughs> and he like hits his chest. He's like, all right, I'm fine. Well, everybody looks like Mitch had a little. No, I don't really think there is a big conspiracy you can go into there, like saying he's a reptilian or, or like, <laughs> he's like a lizard person. Reptilian Senator Mitch McConnell started to shift back into his true form the other day. So you could see him slow down and then eventually freeze as he went into slumber mode. And you can see somebody hit the sleep. Um... And that he's he's on idle mode. He's idling. Um, you know, he's he's on do not disturb mode right now and uh Well, we got Mitch is going through a little freeze right now. Um he's he had a, he just got a soft he just got cyber hacked. He just his server just crashed. I mean he's actually a he's a look, we all know he's a clone, guys. He's cl- like, he ran out of human DNA. He got, I mean, they're like, what is going on with the, I mean, the, yeah, they're old. Like, that's the thing. If they were uh, like in their 40s and these, this were happening, but let's see, who has this happened to? We got Mitch McConnell freezing. I remember Nancy Pelosi. I'm going to find that too. <laughs> I got to find that too. Because this was a hilarious. This was a hilarious thing. Yeah, people are saying she glitched out. Now, I don't know if you remember this. This was uh, Loading. two years ago. And she's up there, too. She's around that same age. Um, you know, like... Ugh. Cabinet members at rallies with labor. Sorry, I forgot to play the rest of press this. Press conferences but. and working with business. What we've said all along. Is just let. I mean, let's just look at this for another second because, like, you know, there's something like there's something about the way she looks that has unsettled me ever since she (laughs) joined office. Um, and it's really just, I guess, she plastic surgery and too much makeup. I guess now I'm realizing she's not even up to Pelosi's age yet, but and like. I don't know, maybe her teeth are fake. Uh, there's something about her, the way she can't quite make an expression. And just, like, no real emotion. Like, I mean, she's terrible. She's awful. Like, I mean, Cuomo, like, tried to be... You know, remember when he was really popular and uh, everybody was like, I mean, I'm a, I'm a Cuomo. <laughs> I'm Cuomo sexual. I love Andrew Cuomo. He's fighting the pandemic. He's getting us through the pandemic. He's amazing. He should run for fucking president. Mm-hmm. president. And uh, now we have this stiff, like, she's like a, do- a female Dr. Oz. Like, they almost look like brother and sister, actually. Um, just no anything. Just blank. She's, I guess, a Hillary type and a Kamala. There's like a, that's a type of. That's like the woman stiff, awful politician, st- like, I don't know, archetype or something. Like, it's just like, uh, she, well, she doesn't ever laugh or cackle. And it's almost better that way. I mean, honestly, like, the, the fake, it's always fake, by the way. Kamala never is genuinely laughing. And you can tell because it's always over the top, it's always fake sounding. It's, it could be, ner- like, people have said, like, it's, it's a technique because of nervous. I don't know if I get the feeling she's, I mean, I, I get the feeling she's arrogant, you know? So being arrogant and then being nervous to speak, I don't, I don't see that because it seems like she just wanted power. Um, I think it's like a fake thing. And Hillary did it a little bit, but she, Kat, uh, Kamala, like, really pushed it over. You know, she really is like, 
using it as her only thing. <laughs> and like this lady doesn't have any of those things, just kind of a robotic she sounds like a female version of Falky. Fauci. And uh, you know, just looks like a ghoul or something. Looks like if there was a real life Disney villain s per like woman. Them work and help us out financially. That's why today I have sent a letter to President Biden formally requesting immediate executive action in wow, four how key amazing. areas. First, expedited work authorization so we can get these people out of shelters and into the jobs. Financial support what jobs? for federal housing vouchers, schools, health care, legal oh services, my God. <laughs> people are going to flip and out. shelter for us to provide for these asylum seekers. Um, so she's the main thing I like, well, you know, she's just awful, but I hated when she reacted to the written house verdict right away, like celebrate. Wait, no, not so way saying it was like a travesty because he got not guilty. Like, I don't like that whole thing about I'm going to comment on a case and say it was the wrong verdict. You weren't even in the and by the fucking White House did, too. You can like. I mean, even if you hate Rittenhouse or think he's probably a whatever, he got misrepresented. He wasn't a racist shooter. <laughs> he wasn't targeting black. I mean, a lot of that was bullshit. Like, um, and, and you know, he was young at the time, I guess. Like, so that makes me think. I don't. That makes me think he could be not a vigilante type. Like, and he's just young and he wanted to do something and he was riled up. I don't know. I don't really think about it that much, but I just hated that she commented so it was the wrong decision. Like, you don't get to say, like, that is so, un like, ethical to go, I'm a, I'm a public leader and I publicly think this was the wrong verdict. What the, f like, you should be, like, having, like, that shouldn't be allowed. That shouldn't be legal to do, but, I mean, I don't know. So that's kind of, you know, another example of a politician with no... Fake, just fake nothingness, you know, just like Nancy Pelosi here, except she didn't like now Pelosi's going <laughs> to. This is another glitch, guys, another 80 year old glitch that people probably forgot about the, the day that we lost but, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. But to be clear, you're not taking any arrows out of your quiver. You're not ruling anything out. <laughs> Good morning. Sunday morning. The. Uh, we have a responsibility. We take an oath to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States. <laughs> Good morning. Sunday morning. The, uh, God, his the, face. We have a responsibility. We take it. Oh, my God. He's so freaked out by that. He's, like, so greatly disturbed by that. See what I mean? These are all, like, remixed versions clear, of the original. Uh, I don't even know. They probably deleted the original one or something. Taking any arrows out of your quiver, you're not ruling anything out. <laughs> Good morning. Sunday morning. The, uh, the, 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 we have a responsibility. We uh, yeah, so that just fueled uh, all the conspiracy people. I mean, I don't know. I don't like. I, I don't know if she was doing it. Like, I don't want to comment, so I'm gonna say something out like randomly. But I, but I do think it's probably that she's really old, and uh, that's that's basically it. Like, it's another senior kind of moment thing, maybe. But I don't know because of the way that guy reacted. Also, like, I can't believe <laughs> that guy's reaction. Oh my god. He was like, like, was he trying not to react? But it looked worse what he did. Like, if he just would have made a confused face and moved on, that would have been, but he just like, God. The, the day that we lost. But to be clear, you're not taking any arrows out of your quiver. You're not ruling anything out. Good morning. Sunday morning. The, uh. We have a responsibility. We take an oath to protect and defend the Constitution. Oh my God! Of the United States. Good morning. 
Because he's like trying to maybe figure out what she was doing. Like, what's that? Because in his head, you know, he's on the team. He's on the whole ruling class team. He he might, who knows, go out for dinner, gay little dinner parties with the Pelosi's. And, uh, you know, he's trying to figure out, like, wait, that's probably, wait, was that, like, was she uh, doing a stra- strategy there? Was she, did we say something earlier about Sunday morning? What, uh, was it Sunday morning when they recorded this? That would be worse if it wasn't. Now, everybody says she's, like, a drunk, and I don't really get that angle. Um, I mean, I think that's just, like, aging. I don't, I really, like, I I don't know. I just want the original videos. I get how that's funny editing the sound there, but, you know. Oh, somebody said, uh, others were more, this is an article here, the others were more understanding, put it down to a cross line between ABC and another one. Seems like a mic issue where someone from another show, probably CBS Sunday Morning, that she was also going to be appearing on Patched Into Her Ears, and she said, good morning. Not sure why this is a thing. Um, yeah, I don't... Uh, no, you can tell he's freaked out. I don't think it was a non-reaction. Maybe he tried to make it look like one. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, he... Like, you can really see his, like... He goes from, like, what? To, like... Oh my God! Like that's his rea- It was like if someone told him a tragedy just happened. His slow, like, okay, I'm not smiling, and then I'm kind of grinning, like, oh, is that a joke? And then it goes back to like frowning. Like somebody seriously just told him, "Look, your uh, grandma, your aunt, just uh, I don't know something terrible." Maybe that would make sense. Maybe if somebody had w- said if something in her ear, I don't see in her earpiece or anything. I don't, like, I don't know, guys, but I think, like, we need to raise the age limit. Like, it's kind of, you know, you only, you really only get the wisdom if somebody is above 80 years old. I mean, we, it just is, it's inspiring to see somebody that that can freeze up like that he says he's fine. Like that's that's a show, that's a showing of strength that we need now in this country. He should run for president, guys. We need somebody that's fighting like Fetterman. Now what else? We had that Pelosi. I mean Fetterman. There's too many to you know. <laughs> like he, uh, Every moment of his life is like that, you know, so it's not anything. We all know, though, that's the thing. We don't know the history of Pelosi and, well, I guess they did say that McConnell had a concussion recently, which they could lie and say something was a concussion when it was a big stroke or something like that. And that's the thing, like, if it's worse, like, what if Fetterman stuff that, you know, they would say, like, oh, he had a mild, he went to the hospital, but he's fine. Like, I'm, I always think they're lying all the time, like, because, I mean, I just, you know, I don't think you want that to get out if you have a leader, I mean, <laughs> out there. We'd be hearing constantly about Biden's health stuff, probably. If they were honest and they were open about it, they'd probably just be like, well, going to the doctor again, get it, you know, he just had a minor, uh, I mean... According to the show The Crown on Netflix, uh, Churchill, which they compared Fetterman to, <laughs> although Fetterman w- didn't, you know, have some career like Churchill did. Churchill also was like a drunk guy. He was a drunk alcoholic, uh, you know, uh, terrible health. Fetterman just had a bunch of strokes. I mean, and uh, yeah, the Churchill, like he had, he would have these health like, bad health issues, and they would just be like, tell them to go home and rest, and we're going to just not tell the public about it. Like, that's how they were in that show, so that show's real. But I'm I'm sure they do that kind of stuff. Um, I mean, all right, I'm going to find any... (laughs) 
Hey guys, this sounds like fun news. This sounds like entertainment news again. Um. Yes. Well, every day you guys know out there. Every day there's another story in New York City and many cities of people getting attacked and randomly assaulted, and today is no exception. NYC yoga slugged and called anti-LGBTQ slur at Hudson River Park. Um, a woman was slugged by a hateful creep who hurled a homophobic comment at her as she jogged in Hudson River Park, Cop said Monday. The 52-year-old victim was in the Waterfront Park on West Street, near West Houston Street, around 8.30 a.m. when a man made an anti... You know, they can't even quote what he said. He then struck her in the face, causing her to fall to the ground, police said. She suffered minor cuts on her face, right knee, and left hand, I thought he said. The suspect fled after the assault, heading north on West Street. Police released surveillance photos of the suspected attacker late Sunday, showing him shirtless. Yeah, he's a young guy. This is a young, fit guy that I wouldn't... I was picturing like an older, I don't know. And I don't know why he, like, how did he know she's gay, like... Okay, so like, I... This is another one of the suspects. Again, it looks like a young kid here. Okay, so these are all pro... These are all uh, gay-related. These are all LGBTQ-related stuff. Um, I didn't even know about these. On Monday, there was also arrest in another apparent anti-gay attack, which a uh, man tore down several LGBTQ pride flags outside the historic Stonewall National Monument. <clears throat> oh, this was la oh, this was June. Um, he got charged with a hate crime too. I guess because they were, I mean, tearing down a flag. I mean, that's. Is that sort of a freedom of speech to me? I mean, to me, I don't know if that's... I mean, they hung him up there. If somebody takes one down, it's not a... How is that a hate crime? He tore down several pride flags outside the Stonewall Monument. I don't know if he knew that was where that was. And he was joined by two accomplices. And two similar incidents occurred on June 15 and 18 when multiple trans flags were ripped off and broken, and they released photos of the still-at-large suspect. Jeez, I didn't know this was, like, so illegal to do that. Eight crimes. I mean, this is pretty... Another anti-LGBTQ slur guy. Pretty recently, last week. He groped a woman, broke her nose, and hurled... Why is it always, always hurling slurs? I mean, shouldn't be the charge? Shouldn't the charge be that he attacked her? I mean, what the fuck? Like now, that's the only thing being prosecuted here, I guess. Like if you if you take down a pride flag, now you're in trouble. But if you attack somebody and grope a woman, eh, we might take you in, but we'll set you free pretty soon after that. The governor here, uh, Hulk, whatever how you say it, Hokel. Signs bill requiring New York colleges to report and investigate hate crimes. There have been, like, fake ones. There have been, a. Uh, there was a, somebody at a college, there was a, there was a hoax. This girl did, and she got found out. Um... It was basically a Jesse Smollett type of situation. But, like, if that happens... In the <laughs> I mean... They're going to have these, like, campus investigative teams, and then they're just going to... What are they going to do if it's fake, you know? I mean, I honestly think most are fake now. I mean, I don't... Well, those people in New York, these guys, like, yeah, they're... They're, they're different... 
They're also different, like, cultures. They're not just white guys like everybody thinks. Like, these are, like, different cultures have, aren't quite as progressive as this, the, the white liberal people think. Like, that that they are. Like, everybody, they assume everybody should, is, you know, like, with their same views. And then when guys are, like, yelling gay slurs or whatever. They just, like, kind of don't bring the race up. But they would if it was a white guy, you know? I mean, that is a true thing that's happening. So here's another story I just saw. Um, what the fuck? <laughs> More news today. Uh, Controversial teacher with Z-cup prosthetic breasts returns to the classroom at a new school. Now you guys probably remember the uh, trans high school shops teacher with the giant fake tits, 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 tits. boobs, boobs, boobs. Well, guess what, guys? She's back. Yes, queen. A Canadian teacher sparked controversy after photos showed her in class wearing Z size, which I didn't know was a size, but apparently it is. Um, <laughs> her name is Kayla Lumia, you whatever. Lumia, Lumo, Lumio. My name's Kayla. You know, this is, um, this is the culture in now, guys. Like, we, uh, uh what's the term? If you're in this kind of woke, uh, everything, anything goes culture, you have to celebrate this. You have to, any new identity someone, someone comes up with, we have to, uh, you know, we have to validate their bullshit every single time. Now, I don't, yeah, you know what? Most of the time, like, I'll say, like, oh, adults do whatever they want. In this case... Uh, fuck this guy, because <laughs> it's just completely obscene. There is nothing. Now, look, I say, like, everybody's like, yeah, do what you want if you're an adult. Do what you want. No, there is a limit to that, too. I mean, it's not just, oh, you're above, um, you know, you're not a minor. Do whatever you want is fine if it's not hurting anybody. Well, this is hurting people people's eyes for one it's hurting my eyes it's hurting my stomach now a lot of people thought this guy was trolling which i i don't know he keeps doing it um he could still be trolling but it's just like to do this every single day for over a year now or unless he was kicked out of fire before i don't remember with i mean it's just horrifying like this is scary okay i don't Look, I'm 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 not going to refuse to be ever be honest about someone's like weird identity. Look, you can be a cat gender all you want. But honestly, if I'm even in the same room as a cat gender and they're meowing and shit, it does affect other people and that is annoying and stupid. Because a lot of this shit is affecting other people. Like that was a thing that like yeah, do whatever. Like yeah, ideally um, you know, yeah, you, you want to get a bunch of tattoos? Okay, you want to, uh, I don't know, I'm trying to think of something, uh, ride motorcycles? Go ahead. You want to become a cook? Or, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But if you're wearing these fucking obscene fake tits that are huge and they have the nipples clearly out there, it's obscene and it looks like he... He looks like a fucking crazy serial killer. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. This guy is... <laughs> there's no way this guy is a well-meaning person. There's just no way. It's either he's trolling and he's still trolling. It just seems too long to be doing this. Like, maybe he started as a troll and now he's actually into it. But this guy looks like a fucking murder, Like a psycho. He looks like the movie Psycho. Like, maybe this was his dead sister and he's dressing as her or something. I mean, 
look at this face there. Like that is that you would you want to see this? It looks like he painted his face white there or something. This looks like the fucking. Ugh, I mean, I'm I'm getting like chills looking at this. Looks like a guy who puts a mask on and just goes killing. Like the BTK, BTK dressed up in, like, you know, the victim's clothes and took Polaroids of it. This guy looks, <laughs> I don't, like, look, I don't, I don't see how we need to act like this is a, like, we have to, not only do you have to put up with it, you have to celebrate it. That's the problem. That's like, now, privately, no one's going to be celebrating this, but they may be sending emails. They may be just acting like in the school, like, oh, good for, good for you. I don't know. Maybe not, though. I mean, all the press this has gotten, all, it makes the school look weird. I mean, yeah, parents, like, I guess I would just not have your kids go to the class. I mean, what are they going to do with this? Why are they returning Kayla? My name is Kayla. Yeah. Yeah. Parents have been warned that the, uh, by this principal, uh, there may be protests and disruptions over Kayla. Kayla's hiring in a memo obtained by the Toronto Sun. We are writing you today because we anticipate the school your child is attending. Nora Francis Henderson may receive some level of public attention. We want to communicate what this means for you. Should the school be subject to any protests, we are committed to telling you uh, and to share any plans. There will be new safety measures that will be in implemented to protect students and faculty. I guess they're saying from the protests. These safety per Precautions include having students enter and exit the building using assigned doors and entry and dismissal and locking exterior doors during school hours, only using the front main doors during school hours. Uh, will, all students and visitors will be required to use an intercom system to enter and exit the building. With parents being asked to email or call before coming to the school if they wish to visit or speak to an employee. Oh my god, bending over backwards and taking it in the ass by this Kayla. The memo explained that a board has an obligation to uphold individual rights and treat everyone with dignity and respect as students prepare to greet their controversial new educator. And the, and the school board acknowledged that has communicated with parents that their child school may be, receive public interest. Oh my god, dude. So the, the, the person is... Oh my god. Fuck this. So Kayla was put on leave last March after people got mad because of the viral photo just... Ugh. Fuck, it's disgusting. Although it wasn't clear if she was fired. He, whatever, he was fired as he prepares to start the new job at the neighboring high school. Uh, in an interview with the Post, the teacher said the breasts were not fake, even after being photographed leaving home without them. I'm not wearing pr prosthetic breasts. These are real. And that is the person. That is him. That's the guy that's doing this. It looks like fucking Tim Dillon. And, you know, not does not have the, does not have the breasts on there, but says that those breasts are real. Acknowledging that she can't prove her claim, she shared that she's not a transgender person, but was born intersex. He, she, whatever, denied that they were the male photographed walking on the sidewalk. Uh, I always go out looking the way I am. Okay, I mean, 
Yeah, this is like inviting a lot of lawsuits, I think. The school is in, like, this is, <laughs> I don't know how it's going to work. It's Canada. I don't know. I just, this is, this is kind of like, I kind of hope it keeps going on. And because and, they, they deserve the backlash. They deserve everything. And it really is like George Carlin, like, used to talk about, like, eh, I'm just like kind of sitting back and watching the freak show go on. You're just like enjoying the, the disaster. Like he was later on. Like, yeah, I do, you know, you never know if he would have been seriously became like Jon Stewart and been like pro-mask and this establishment left. But I mean, I still think those things, like, yeah, like it is, I guess like since the pandemic, now I'm at the point where it's kind of just it's like, Eh, I just kind of hope it keeps going down the drain and seeing if anybody stands up. Like, I do like to see when people stand up to this stuff and they get a blowback, like with the Bud Light stuff, which is funny. I don't even know if I cared that much about the Bud Light stuff. It just was, like, funny to see, like, a company get back something. Like, every company now is just, like, Fuck my fucking on it. Like, remember that Gillette commercial? I was just thinking about this the other day. Um, oh my god. I hate I hate celebrities. I've never hated celebrities more now than I mean, I ne- I always hated celeb news and all that stuff, but I really hate all of them. Look at this. Ariana Grant uh Ariana Grande says relentless bullying led her to change the album cover art for 10th anniversary. Like, who fucking wants to have an anniversary of an Ariana Grande album? Really? It's going to stand the test of time? Really? (laughs) She's not even an Adele. Like, an Adele would, like, stand the test. Like, those... I don't really listen to Adele, but, but, uh, you know, those... I don't know. You can just tell that that's gonna hold up those kind of songs i mean even taylor swift i don't like i just can't i honestly think it's it's a lot of it is her voice for some reason it's mainly her person her personality that i the way she comes off but some of her songs recently like some of her songs will go oh that's kind of good like i just can't like it i don't know i think it's her voice or something but if somebody else, like, if I thought, it's like, oh, too bad somebody else isn't singing this because I would like it. <laughs> but I don't know. It's pop music. Um, I just don't think a lot of pop music, like, you know, uh, uh, yeah, I guess maybe older. I don't know. Um, You know, somebody that writes their own music like Taylor Swift is still better than Ariana Grande. Like, you would, like, I could see having that as an anniversary album or something, like. But she's pretty terrible, too, just as a person, I think. I don't know. I just think people are stupid if they do. Um, what's he going to talk about? God, what was I just talking about? Uh, 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 uh. Okay, I remembered. I uh, had to go back, <laughs> had to go back and watch it. What I just was talking about. Okay, so I was just, yeah, I was just remembering this Gillette commercial. You guys remember? Gillette and toxic and masculinity. 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 Yeah, like, yeah, so I don't even remember if I, I don't think I even saw this whole commercial, so I think I have to, now this was before the pan, this was 2019, after Me Too really kind of was almost dying down, I guess. And they decided that they're going to scold their entire consumer base. 
So it says they faced backlash and boycott over a Me Too ad. I just don't think it was nearly like the Bud Light one. I just don't, like, it's just ridiculous that you can say toxic masculinity and you can't say toxic femininity. If you're going to act like, and then the only defense was people saying, look, uh, we don't mean all masculinity, just the toxic part of it. Then you, then you could, you should be able to say there's a toxic part of, of uh, the best men can be. It's a short film. I'm not going to probably watch the whole thing then. Oh. Bullying. It's only a minute. Oh. <laughs> Is this the best a man can get? Is it? I'm inspired. I'm already like... I'm already really inspired by this. I've actually changed my life because of this, guys. I'm a Gen Z kid. I'm not, I'm not going to grow up to be like my dad, my, my uncle, my, my older relatives, because it's time for men to be better. Got to do better. Got to do better. Got to do bad. Got to do bad. Do better. Do better. Stop do being be toxic stop being because bad. masculinity itself is. We can't hide from it. It's been going on far too long. What the fuck? We can't laugh at all. What was bad about that? Going back. Oh, okay. So this is a boy being bullied. So you're saying toxic men, men can only bully men. There's no girls. I mean, girls can bully boys, too. It, okay, so that's saying that men culture is about... Well, it's more about... I don't know. Girls can be pretty, pretty fucking terrible to each other. Men are just more aggressive about it, I guess. Like, uh, It's not all men, either. It's like, you know, there's the bully type, and that's not a man or a woman. That's just a type. We can't hide from it. It's been going on far. So, uh, that old cartoon there, and then it's showing this office type of guy, and then a black woman maid, and the white, of course, white cis man with his office dress shirt and tie and all that comes up and is grabbing her ass. I don't know if anybody's dissected this whole thing, but, uh... And then that's just a, a girl to be in a bikini at, at a pool. And that's what toxic masculinity. You know, girls do go to that type. They purposely, work, like, they wear those. They're not being forced to wear those. They don't go to a pool or a beach because they're forced to go. We can't laugh at all. Who's the daddy? <laughs> Who? What I actually think she's trying to say. Making the same old excuse. So that was mansplaining there, if you guys didn't see. When I actually think she was trying to... Uh, sit down. Um, sit down, Elizabeth, or whatever his name is. What I actually think she's trying to say. Making the same old excuses. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. But something finally changed. Allegations regarding sexual assault. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, this is so cringy. It shows the young Turks there. Just fucking, f like, left, far left people. Um, so the boys will be boys. Like, I don't, like, I've never heard a man, like, I've never had a friend say that. I've never heard another guy. I mean, yeah, I'm not a sports jock. Maybe you would see it if if I was like a frat guy or something, like a jock, I guess. That's the closest you would come to that locker room type of. But I mean, do that like, no, I've never heard anyone say boys will be boys. It's not 1950. I mean, it's not. 
That's how they're. This is acting like it's 1950. Ugh. And there will be no going back. Because we, we believe in the best in men. Come on. To say the right thing. Come on, man. Let me grow up. Right way. Bro, not cool. Not cool. Some already are. Not cool, man. Yeah, I've never seen a guy. I've never, ever. Again, I'm not a jock and I'll hang with that crowd. Maybe that's that's why, but I've never seen a guy cat call. <laughs> I've never seen a guy. Um, I think, like, maybe I, I would have seen it as a joke if somebody kind of jokingly did it. I don't always think it's, like, meant it. I don't think it's meant to sexual. I don't know. I've never seen it. And I've never seen a guy do the not cool thing. In ways big Yo, men, and small. Oh my god. Right there, I guess that was showing like, let's not fight, let's just shake hands. Like that would ever happen. Look at this. In ways big Yo, men, and small. So I guess they're trying to act like Oh, we're we're not an anti man, but we're trying to change man for the better, yo. Your man, just shake it out. Have a hand, and they and then they just shake hands. I mean, this is not. <laughs> this is <laughs> Oh my god. That's a girl. Boys will be boys. Is not enough. Boys will be boys, man. No. That's normal for boys to roughhouse. What are you talking about? Okay, the, there's a, these are all little kids here. Oh, this is bullying, though. Yeah, that's not cool, but... That's not how we treat each other, okay? That's normal. Right here is normal. That's not how we treat each other. Well, I don't know. Maybe they meant... No, it, it, that looks like just boys playing around, though. Okay. Okay. Don't be toxic. Stop playing around, boys. Stop growing together. Stop bonding. Because the boys and also, them. like, nobody wants an adult. Like, I think right here is an adult that goes up and stops the bullying. Oh, my God, it is. <laughs> you don't... No kid... Like, I never wanted... I wasn't really... Oh, I'm trying to think, I guess. I had a few, like, near bullet... Like, sort of bullying experiences. Um, I never wanted... Like, when you never, like... When that's going on, you never want an adult, especially your dad or something. You don't want a grown man to have to go over and like. I never wanted to be like, "Help me," because then you're you're seen as like worse. I mean, <laughs> you can't just go bullying's bad and then it's all done. Like that's that's what I hate about this whole mentality. Also, like, yeah, some of it, some of it isn't like some makes sense. You can't throw the baby out with the bathwater. I do. I throw them all. I throw all the babies out with the bathwater, dude. I mean, so they look like they're just playing there. I don't know. Maybe they were fighting hard. But I also kind of think, I don't know, there's like a normalcy to boys being physical, too. I never was really like that. I really wasn't like that. Um, Although I did fight, like, with just my brother and stuff. Growing up, uh, not, uh, well, it was always just outbursts. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, never, I never really got into sport. I've, but, you know, but that's for a lot of boys. I think that's normal. It's not like I never did anything physical, but just, I guess, uh, some physicalness. Is normal for boys like yeah like the stuff it shows with bullying there's different ways to approach that though you don't you don't go like dad come break this up for me you don't have your dad come down and go Let, that's not how we treat each other boys <laughs> I mean the opposite of this whole thing isn't true either like we shouldn't be like because it's doing caricatures of men of like those are the like those are the bad like apples of society. That's not has nothing to do with toxic 
Like, masculinity itself is not the reason that those, like, that bad people come up. That's the problem all the time now. People act like, oh, like, well, no one just is bad. Like, they're just driven to it by, like, because they're poor, because they're disenfranchised, they're men, white especially, gives you more aggression. If you have those white genes and you're a man, you get like double XP points to, the, to <laughs> your aggression. You just can't help it. You just have to bully, say so, and you have to say boys will be boys over and over again. Like what guy, like everybody knows an asshole or a creep that would maybe grab someone's ass. That's the guy you stay away from and everybody knows that in every friend group. There's a guy that you're like, oh, he's like weird, don't, like, do you maybe just instinctively know? You might not even talk about that. But those, the, that, we all know that. That's not a normal, like, masculinity trait. That's just, like, bad people. And then you would probably be called out at some point. Not everybody is going to call someone out and say, not cool or whatever. Not the first time especially, but, like, yeah, you will be at some point. Someone will get pissed off at something you did. Because um, it's not normal, actually, believe it or not. It's not normal for men to be fucking assaulting or sexually assaulting people. It's not normal. It's not a normal common thing that you, that you always say boys will be boys because always men are doing that shit. And so far, this whole thing has nothing to do with shaving. Like, none of this. There's no, like, none of these people even have beards or anything. Okay. Okay. Because the boys watching today will be the men of tomorrow. The best a man can get. What is? It's only by challenging ourselves to do more. I gotta go back. That we can get closer to our best. We are taking action at thebestmencanbe.org. I never, I didn't know that. Gillette. It's just an ad. It's a, it was a Super Bowl ad, too. Lots of money. Uh, I mean, that was like a TEDx talk. That was like a... Did it? I, I don't think there was any big boycott. I think it was more like, ugh. Well, you know what? Also, a lot of people were on board with me, too, at least at first. Like, everybody was. Oh, my God. Fuck this site. Oh, this is that site I, I read something off before, the conversation dot com. Here's a here's a uh here's a, <laughs> here's a here's a headline of this of an article on this site. Oh, this is from two thousand seventeen though. Never mind. Maybe this isn't really active anymore, this site. Was there uh and then they're gonna go, Well that's cause men boys will be boys, that's why they're gonna boycott. <laughs> Did your friend just grab some, a woman's ass? Well, boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. <laughs> boys will be boys, guys. Boys, guys. Boys, guys. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. Harvey Weinstein came out and everybody was like, boys will be boys. We all learned how to do that. I mean, we all learned from a young age that we should be like Harvey Weinstein was. Just every woman you see is an opportunity and is your thing to have. And you bully and you beat people up and you are full of hate and you say boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. With no... You know, we just all are like that. We just all catcall. Our dads all teach us when we're like of of uh, going through puberty kind of time. They they all teach us. We all go to like we all f go to like a, a you know a corner where people are walking around. Maybe we go to a construction <laughs> site. We just learn the ways of the catcall. We all do that, especially us white men, cis men. We all get to talk, and you know what it is? It's not birds and the bees. It's how to catcall properly. You don't want to just, you know. We're a lot like a lot of us are too shy at first. We're like, hey, you look, look okay. You look not that bad, and then eventually you're like, oh, come on, 
get it out. You know, we all got to do it. This is the coming of age. Everybody does it. And then we are all like, you know, we whistle and we're like, just like, hey. <laughs> Not going to look my way beautiful. Come on, smile. We all learn that. We all learn how to say smile to women that aren't smiling. We all just do it. We just know. Uh, we all, you know, boys will be boys, man. Teach that to your kids. Oh, everybody, everybody will get that word out there. Bring it bad. Bring it bad. It's bring it bad. bad. It's what being bad. a man is all about. Being inappropriate with people. Being inappropriate with people. Groping and everything. 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 It's happening, guys. It's happening, guys.